Are you ready for your morning to get extreme? Hey, it's Wrestling Hero Figs. But Hero Figs, how can my morning get extreme? I haven't had my coffee yet. You know what? It's all good, man. As long as you're at the house of Hero Figs, you know it's going to get extreme. You know that stuff is going to go down. We got a play set. We got some elites. We got some of those clear stands. We got a lot of stuff, man. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a variety of extremeness, man, because this play set right here that I'm about to get cracked into, my, my froze, my dudes, my... Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be great. Uh, I actually saw this go up that was in stock at Ringside Collectibles, and it is an exclusive. Discount code HERO, you know they're going to take care of you with that 10% off. Check out this playset, y'all. Man, this thing is wicked, bro. You're getting a lot of different accessories to mess around with, to put your opponents through, to bash them. Just uh, just uh, uh, all around good time. I think that's the way that we're going to put it, you guys. So it does come with, it looks like, uh, shopping cart. Uh, two different kinds of bats, depending on whether you're feeling like a Friday bat or a Monday bat. They got bats for two days of the week. They got some barbed wire. They got a lot of barbed wire, actually. They got a trash can. In the back right here, it's giving you the breakdown of what's up, man. Right here on the side, there's the shopping cart. And you know what? You can actually do one of two things. You can do Use it as a shopping cart where you can go to the grocery store. You can pick up all those groceries you need for the week. Or what you could do is that you could be like Raven. Who is Raven? Raven, man, he was one of the all-time hardcore, awesome WWE legends, man. That guy always brought his little shopping cart filled of this, man. Oh, that's cool how they have it. Check this out. So it looks like they have it inside the packaging, how it should, how you should actually load it, man. I mean, sure, you can put in your groceries. And you know what? You can attempt it. Why not? Let's see. So the way that it works is that this piece right here, it looks like this is the back. Yeah, this is the back piece. This is kind of like a piece of plywood and there's barbed wire on top of it. It wasn't breakaway. It was just mainly used as a demonic piece of destruction in the ring, dude. Like, they would pull this out from under the ring. And why would you do that? Like, why would someone have this later on? Like, this is something that someone had to create in order to put it to use, dude. This is, you don't just find this at the hardware. You can't go to the hardware store and say, sir, can I please get a piece of plywood with, with a bunch of barbed wire on it? I would like to use it for my shed. Why would you use this? You know what I'm saying? And again, we do got some figures. We're gonna put these to the test. Cactus Jack, this guy was notorious for. I feel like this playset was specific designed for this man right so what he would do pull it out of the ring set somebody up he would grab a lunatic that was willing to take the fall or the bump and then he would body slam him you know what pile driver he did it all onto this dude nuts this guy was nuts so you sir you and the lunatic French are actually the perfect candidates for this video today now the shopping cart right here I want to show you the shopping cart this thing is awesome man let's move these uh display stands over here to the side the shopping cart again everything is it looks like it's already pre-loaded with the right stuff for a hardcore match on the very top looks like we got a uh, barbed wire yeah this oh this is awesome so one thing you could do and I mean, I guess it's all, it depends on what you want to do with it. It just, this, this playset is designed to let your imagination run wild. You could wrap this on your steel chair, man. You could use it because that's what uh, Cactus Jack would do. Mankind, dude, love. All three of them got crazy with it. You could also like use it to, you know, put it around the neck and just do, I'm telling you. The possibilities, you can just get creative with it. Let's put them over here. So there's the piece of barbed wire. I do want to give you an up-close shot and show you the detail on this, what they actually did to add, like, everything to it. I mean, you can actually see all of the spikes to it right there. It does have, like really good movement so again you can pose it in whatever way you want like and it'll actually spring back on you so if you do put it on the steel chair man it's just gonna pop right back into place look at that that thing is sick man really cool i mean i know it's just a little piece of well not string but you know what i'm saying it's it's something that you can use in all of those matches so some of the other stuff in here we got it looks like tax yes these are the tax so these tax right here it would normally come in a bag Mankind would just dump them all out, pour them into the ring, and again, body slam, suplex, whatever the guy was feeling like doing that day, he was going to use these in the match to win his nights, right? So let's put that right there aside. So really cool, and it's just a, on the bottom right there, not much to it, it's just a flat finish. It's on the top where you're seeing all of the detailed work and paint dash. Right here, here's the trash can. This trash can, it actually does, like when you hit someone over the head with it, it actually does bend. You see that? It's got some mobility to it. So again, 
two ways. You can take out the trash, right? You can fill up all the stuff that you had the night before and you can take it out in the dumpster. No, man, that's not what you use it for. You grab it, you pull it over your head and you hit your opponent with it. <laughs> oh man, uh, some of the other accessories, you gotta get into the bats, you guys, because mankind, this guy, like, well, is this Lucille? Wait, is this? Come on. Hold up, I think I see Walking Dead Lucille in this bag right here. Oh my goodness, this is sick, bro. So what this is, it's, it's yeah, it's a bat. It's a bat covered in barbed wire. It's just, wow, dude. Like, this is sick. How? Why? <laughs> That's my question. So you can see all of the nails coming out of this thing. Oh my goodness, this thing is wicked, dude. Um, this other bat right here, it is uh, bar. yeah, this one is barbed wire. So I guess the difference between this and some of the other bats that we've seen from Jax is that the barbed wire in this one, it's more like raised up and bunched up at towards the end as opposed to the Jax where it would start towards the bottom and wrap its way around. So the, whoever created this bat, because again, you can't go to, uh, uh, you know, well, I guess you don't buy bats at the heart. You can't go to uh, Dick's Sporting Goods and say, I need a bat with barbed wire. Now this guy right here, he says, I want to make sure that if I'm going to put barbed wire in, on this on my bat, it's going to be highly concentrated to make sure that whenever I do strike a home run, it's going to hurt, man. So, and it does go on there real smooth. You can see that there's no issues of like the bat wobbling on you. It's going to stay in position. It's the right width to uh, fit on your metal figure. So really cool. This Lucia right here, again, same thing. We'll put it on Dean Ambrose so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So you just pry it open just a little bit because Dean Ambrose looks like he's never had that. In. There you go. You see how he's got that open right there. We'll put one on, uh, you know what, we'll put this on Mankind. The piece of, it's like a 2 by 4 it's like a piece of 2 by 4 Also with barbed wire. I'm telling you, this thing, this playset right here, you say barbed wire, it literally has it on just about every single accessory. So on this one right here, not only does it have the barbed wire, but it's got that flame, dude. Like he put some, some stuff to get that flame going to get his little campfire started, to have his marshmallows, to have his s'mores? Yes, yeah, man, you could do s'mores, or what you could do, right, same thing, bro, set that on fire, and when they did use it, I mean, it's not like they had it on fire and they kept bashing, that's not how it worked, no, he just kind of like had it on fire, and he would A, set his, I think it was Kane, yeah, he would set Kane's on fire, and then Kane would start running backstage, no, he would just, oh, right over the head with the flaming piece of two by four was wrapped around with barbed wire, <laughs> the last accessory right here, it is handcuffs, the handcuffs right here that we're seeing, I think we got it with two different figures, let's see, one of them was Big Boss Man, and the other one is, I can't remember, drop it in the comment section, you guys, I know we've seen these uh, handcuffs in previous figures, now, the cool thing that I'm picking up from it, and it, maybe it's just the way that the lighting is picking it up, but the previous ones, like the handles, they just were all one solid color. This one has, actually has a little bit of distinguished color, like on the actual handles, they have more of like a dark shade tone, uh, tone to it, as opposed to like the chain. So this gives it more of that real feel, and they are a little bit stronger too, man. So one of the biggest things with like my previous handcuffs is that they'd like to break right there after time, like after using them one too many times, they'd like to break. So these actually do look like they're a little bit better quality than what we've seen in the past. So we'll put it on hand, we'll use it, or you know what, you know who'd be a a good kid. Where is he? There he is. This man right here. You guys watched Extreme Rules. You know he likes to use handcuffs. But dude, you can't use handcuffs on the monster among men. You gotta open it up. Again, you gotta pry it open a little bit. And you gotta put it in there so you can use it in your steel cage match. And hopefully you can trap the monster in the bank. Get in there. Get in there. There you go. <laughs> So there's KO right there, holding the handcuffs, waiting to use it on the mic. Let's get this box open right here, you guys. This is another one. This one has a bunch of elites inside it, so we're going to get this one open ASAP because we got to get more. We got to find more candidates to utilize these accessories, these weapons, these extreme hardcore. We got some, yeah, we got some newspaper. We'll get the newspaper out of the way. Actually, we'll get all of this out of the way. First one that I'm getting out of here, you guys, is one that I missed first go around. I had to pick this up, man. Like, if you guys didn't hear the news, you got it. Yeah, you got to go on. You know, it doesn't matter what social media site you go on, you're going to find out that this guy right here is coming to a Mattel house near you. Now, the, a previous one, uh, the ringside exclusive Hogan, 
did sell out and you know that kind of had me worried i'm like man i, I should definitely pick this up because like you try finding this one or the other ringside exclusive hogan on ebay yeah 50 60 dollars so you know what i said no nah, man i'm good i might as well get it now while they still have it 27 i think it was like 20 something dollars i can't remember exactly but again discount code here oh man that 10 percent off now this one all the accessories that you're getting you're getting the, the interchangeable hands you're getting the What's that called? Uh, boa, boa, no, I can't even remember. It's like a sash. Someone drop it in the comment section, guys. I know there's a fancy name for that. Um, you got the glasses. You got the removable bandana right there. This scan right here, they have used it on all three. One, two, three, four. All four different figures that they've made from Storm Collectibles. It's got the same facial expression. I just hope that if Storm does keep making these, please eventually give us like interchangeable head scans or a different facial expression. I think that'd be really cool. But hey, regardless, this thing is wicked, man. We got the white boots right there. I don't know if I'm going to get this one out. I, will, I do plan on keeping one of them mocked. We did do the review on the previous one, one, so again, go on the channel, man. If you're new, you know what you got to do, right? Next one, I actually found this next one in the wild. Uh, let's get it out. Come on, box. Don't fight me. Next one, we got this. Actually, I think it was yesterday. It was No, it was Monday's Toy Hunt. Uh, the Monday's Toy Hunt, we did find this at Walmart, but you know what? Hey, no regrets, bro. We got this on there. I think it was $17. Retail price, why not? And again, dude, that discount, bro, that discount has got you with that interchangeable hands <laughs> oh, I, I need to ease up on those man i mean i know they're great and all but i just need to calm down on those interchangeable hands because all of that greatness man it's just it's a little bit too much for me to handle right um i guess you know seeing it in marvel legends after a while and the next one this is the one that we did the giveaway on so i did want to pick this up this was i was actually a big fan of this attire i wanted to get this one they had it on sale again i think it was also like 17 dollars 18 they had that fourth of july that's when I ordered all this stuff when they had the 4th of July special and this one again dude after I, I sent it off to a lucky winner I was like man I need to make sure that this man comes back into my collection Chad Gable in his one one half yes one half I almost said one third uh one half of the tag team champions for Smackdown right where's Jason Jordan Jason Jordan I'm debating I know we gave that one away too but I got the basics so I don't know uh, I think I might hold off a little. I de definitely wanted that Ch Chad Gable for that long hair. But you guys already saw the review on this. Again, nothing special to get crazy in depth with. If you did miss it, go on there, man. It's all on there. Before I let you guys go, you got to check out the shopping cart. The shopping cart, the thing, the gem from the set. I, the, for me, I think this piece right here is the reason for the pickup. This thing is wicked, man. So, fortunately, I no longer have that one. If you guys saw my extreme fights the weekend before, the wheel, I think it was like the whole bottom part ended up breaking on my old jacks one so we unfortunately we can't do a comparison but i can show you the in-depth like craziness that you're seeing with this thing like it's cool like it's got like the wheels actually turn on you they get a full 360 on all four so again if you're going to the, the shot or let's get the camera angle so you can see if you go to the mall or if you go to no i guess you don't use these in the mall you use it at kohl's or sears it doesn't matter you could use this and you can actually get like a full 360 it spins real nice on you this thing right here it is actually functional so what you can do is that you could either bring it forward or you can bring it back. I don't know if you can put, no, there's no hole. There is. Oh, that's cool. So I guess when I finally finish up that Nicholas, we can put him on there and see how well, like, the legs will fit through. That's awesome, though. It's got the actual opening for it. And again, it does have articulation. You can move it forward or back. And see, here's the thing, man. So you could even put this, <laughs> you could put this on everything, dude. It's got the little blue corners right here on all four. Well, actually, just on the front. It's got the nice blue handle, and it is in scale. Check this out. You can see right there, Cactus Jack. It's got the right scale for it. Goes right across the abdominal area, right where it should. And you know what? If you want to have, this is what I do. At least when I get my groceries, I put my feet up here and I just go for a ride, right? Yeah, I picked up all the stuff. Now I can go home and play with my figs. <laughs> Last thing you guys I want to cover, I want to, I want to check these ones out. These are like the display stands. They're display, you can have all different colors. I think this one is going to be hands down my favorite color. These are all exclusive to ringside. Um, these are clear see-through. So this one right here, this would be great for like posing. If you do like pictures on Instagram and there's certain poses that you can't, you know, do right without a, or I mean, you could use string, but again, if, if you don't have like the ability to, these work perfect right there. You, there's a little peg hole for it. All of these, of course, all of your Mattel figures do have the holes for it already. So you just use that and they got them in all different colors. They got it in the clear plastic. They got it in the red. So you can get the red open. I didn't. 
Oh, where did it go? I lost it again. <laughs> Here's the red. It's a nice bright red. This, I think what I'm going to do with it is that I'm going to use it for my raw superstars. And then the blue, where's the blue? Here's the blue. Because if you guys know, man, these are like perfect for displaying your figures loose. I'm a loose figure collector, so these are actually ideal for that. The blue right here, I plan on using these for my SmackDown. So I'll have my SmackDown guys on one side and my Raw Superstars on the other. Or if you want to get classy with it, just like the old traditional ones that Mattel used to make, they do offer those in the standard black. I don't know if these have the ins. No, they don't. But they do have the peg. You see, it's got the little peg right there. Again, you just put your superstar on there. You can get all kinds of poses on there. Really cool. Again, thanks a lot, Rinks. I really appreciate this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And we'll see you on the next one.